workout, nice little four mile run, and then we did some arms with some barbells, dumbbells, sorry. I'm in the mood for some Starbucks, so we're gonna hit Starbucks before we hit home. Hey, can I get a grande dark roast coffee? And can I also get a grande extra hot non-fat chai tea latte? That is all. Sounds good, so it's 7.45 at the window, please. Thank you. Not a problem. And it is a beautiful day. Let's get back from the gym, got Starbucks, and we're just gonna do our morning chores. Got my helpers. Hi. What a nice day, hey guys? Yeah. Ooh wee, love it. Oh, I got a mess in here. Real big mess. Oh, I was building some knives till late last night. Okay, so one really cool thing you can do with all your scrap materials is make Kardashi blades. That's a Kardashi. Very simple knife. I just hammer marked this one. It's a small Japanese utility blade and it's just got a very straight edge on it. And this one has a single bevel. I basically put the bevel only on one side, left this side unbeveled. And this sucker is razor sharp. What a handy little knife. Time for chores. So, check on the chickens. Now these are a heritage bird. And we had issues with these. We had some other birds that were a hatchery meat bird and they've been killing these suckers. They're pecking their butts open and it's getting really frustrating. So, those little jerks, we punish them. You know, you pay a lot of money for these rare heritage birds, and to have some stupid hatchery bird kill it, oh, it's so frustrating. So, these guys are the cannibals. The thing that's annoying is they're not eating them. You can even see, they still got blood on their beaks. They're not killing them and eating them, they're just killing them. So we put these suckers out here because these are just hatchery birds. They're a meat bird. They're easy to come by, they're not expensive, but not gonna lose all our good heritage birds because these guys are a bunch of cannibals. I just need another swig of Starbucks. Love my coffee in the mornings. Okay, short time. Hey dude! Kids are the best helpers. I love the chicken feeder. Oh, good job. There they come. Couldn't get out of there fast enough. <laughs> That's a turkey. Another turkey. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Oh man, days like today, I don't think you could get up early enough. It is just incredible. Hey, Mr. Run Biker. Dad. You got pretty good balance there. Can you balance yourself? Balance. Good job, bud. You love that run bike, don't you? Mm -hmm. Voila. Now we keep the goats in here overnight just so that they don't get attacked. This guy right here. Look, you can see their mark. Yeah. So we like to get them in their own little spot at night. But other than that, during the day, they kind of they do all right with the pigs. I would say those are not the best shoes for doing chores, and they. Yeah. <laughs> Now this goat right here, she keeps sticking her head through the fence. This fence is just big enough that she can get her head through and then she gets stuck. And then the pigs, they have their way with her. So for her own good, we have to, uh, I just used Gorilla Tape and I taped a board to her horns so she can't get her head through. Right, sweetie? And now she doesn't like me because I did that to her. <coughs> the kids are good helpers. Thank you. Thanks for helping guys. All right, chores are done and I smell bacon. So I think it's time to go inside. And daddy, I'll get I get two. Mm. <laughs> My wonderful wife made me 
breakfast sandwiches. Yeah. Okay, so I put this knife on a Facebook group, it was a Cool Knives and Gear last night, and they just titled it, A Good Way to Use Up Shop Scraps, or whatever. And uh, this gentleman here said, cool, send me one please and thank you. And I actually did. I said, sure, give me your address. And so he sent it to me, so I'm just going to make a little Kydex sheath for a quick, and send it to him. I have no idea why I decided to give him the knife. It was like a spur of the moment thing. He's like, like, hey, good idea, it's yours, so. I'm gonna send that to him today. Need some tunes. Okay, so. Oh man. I hate it when I leave my workbench a mess. Let's clean it up. Any of you guys use the DC4? I'm totally disgusted. I'm not impressed with this at all. First of all, my gold side has like a bunch of burrs and chunks all over it. I don't know. I don't understand what all the rage is about this sharpening stone. Broken belt grinder belts make good signing paper. Kardashian's actually a pretty handy little knife to have around the shop. Alright, so I'm off to pick up a chicken plucker that we uh, got on a 
Facebook bidding site. And I guess we won the auction, so I gotta go pick that up. Really slick unit. It's different than one that we had borrowed from Steph's uncle uh, to do our chickens like this fall. But this one should be good and a lot quicker than plucking by hand, so. One thing I do not understand is why they have to always do construction on this road. This is the number one highway. It goes right across Canada. They redid this stretch like two years ago. What gives? What is up with this? Just ridiculous. Alberta Strong. All right, so we got the chicken muck in the back there. Time to head home. works is well, you've got these fingers here there's these rubber fingers and they're on this drum and this spins and so you dip your chicken in boiling water uh, not boiling sorry hot water it's uh that's probably the trickiest part you don't want to cook the bird you don't want to be too soften up the, the skin too much but you just want to soften enough that it'll release the feathers and then once you've done that, you basically have this thing spinning and you lay your chicken on here and just lightly move it around and it just rips all the feathers off, sends them up to the back into a pile right there and these things work slick as a whistle. Last fall, we borrowed a chicken plucker from uh, my wife's uncle and it worked really good. That's like the whiz bang chicken plucker is actually what the, the model or the style is. And I'm gonna insert footage of that. I'll warn you, it's gonna be graphic. So just fast forward the next 10 seconds and uh, if I can find the footage. So, starting right now, this is the whiz -bang Chicken Plugger. And that's that. That's the other way to do it. A better way, it's a little quicker, but rather than having to go pick it up from him every time we need to do chickens, uh, we got this one on a auction site on Facebook and the price was right, so now we've got our own way to process chickens. All right, we are off to pick up Ava from Dance and take the boys to their power skating. Shopping, I'm going to edit some video. We'll go in. Mm, supper. You bored waiting for your brother in hockey? Yep. yep. Okay, I want you to stay with Foster, okay?